In this video, we're going to be making polylines using Google Earth Pro, and those are going to be representing the streets around Jason Avenue here. So I don't need, really need to zoom in that much since uh, the, the, the road network is not going to be represented by a polygon. Instead, it's going to be represented by a polyline. So from here, uh, right beside the polygon option, you'll see the Add Path option. Just click on it, and then the process is quite similar to the uh, polygon option so we'll say let's say roads around heavy okay let's go to style and color we have let's set the color to be black okay now i'm increasing the width to be two uh very good two then we have view altitude and measurements as well the length is going to be in kilometers okay so let's start from here, 1 point, 2 point, uh, 3 point, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now try to uh, make that sure that the line stays at the center of the road uh, for, for me not at the center right now so you can say that I've made a mistake okay so you have to be careful with this option as well just like with the polygon just because you're uh, doing a line it doesn't mean that you no longer need to be as precise as possible the more precise you are the more greater your price is going to be and the more accurate your work is going to be now I'm using the arrow keys to move around again There you go. There you have it. Okay. Now I'm just going to about this. I'm just going to click on OK, and we have rules around Jason Avenue ready. Now we do the same process with it. Go to save place as. Now here we name it and we will save it as a KMZ file. Okay. Yes. Okay, now let's go to our art map from there. Let's do a refresh. Okay. Now let's remove this. Let's open our art toolbox, camel layer, input our file. Okay, there we go. Uh, Roads around this and everything. Okay. Click on open. Click on OK. It's working. Here we have the road. Alright, now we can change the symbol from here and turn it into a highway or whatever you want. It's in black and click on OK. There we go. I have made it a bit more deeper or wider. Alright, now we can do the same here, we can do a right click on it, go to data, from there export data, there we go, here we have in the demo, let's call it road around this This fish is going to be saved as a shape file, click on save, ok, uh, no thank you, it is already here, I'm just going to remove this. There you go. Let's remove the toolbox as well from the camera file. We are going to open up our roads. Here we have it. And if you go to attribute stable, you see that the attribute stable is also here along with the shape length. Okay, so that's how we do it. Now let's see if I open the US administrative area here. Let's see the administrative area. Uh, zero. There we go. Now we have the road and our sheet file so we can work with it. Let's 
zoom out. It's a, it's a very small road in Minnesota. And, and this shape file is representing the entire USA. So if I do a zoom to extend, we're not going to be able to see the road at all. Okay. Here we go. It's supposed to be somewhere around here, I'm guessing. Uh, I, I really don't know where Minnesota is exactly. Anyway, so I hope you got the idea of how you can make uh, lines or road network or river networks using Google Earth Pro. So I hope this video was helpful for you and you got to learn something new. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you have found the video to be useful, please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one. Thank you.